What's up guys, Blademaster here and this is the premiere episode of my Let's Play series for Grey Goo. Now what is Grey Goo? No, it's not a euphemism for old man jizz. This is actually a very interesting name for a very interesting strategy game. This is uh, made, it's basically a brainchild of the old Command and Conquer series. Plays very much like a traditional RTS which is why I'm very excited to try this. This is going to be, um, you know, completely fresh playthrough. I haven't played any of this game before. I've just uh, watched a little bit of uh, Total Biscuits video on this and I was just, I, I knew this is going to be a game that I would love to play. So I'm going to get right into it. Hunter's Valley, just before I start actually, um, the cutscenes apparently are supposed to be really good. So I'm actually pretty hyped up because it's been so long since we have since I've seen a game which has good cutscenes like, um, you know, Total War, Shogun 2, the ninja cutscenes are so awesome. Uh, and, you know, the opening cutscenes stuff, it just adds to the immersion so well. Um, and of course, we could see that with StarCraft, and this plays not, it doesn't play very similar to, similarly to StarCraft, apart from being an RTS, but it plays more like Command and Conquer. Um, but apparently it has cutscenes which rival the quality that we uh, see in StarCraft and StarCraft 2, of course. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. Uh, we are playing at uh, hard difficulty at the battle at Hunter's Valley. Well, that didn't disappoint. Very high quality cutscene. Um, from what I've made from this cutscene so far, actually, no. I'm at Hunter's Valley with eight other survivors from the Proving Grounds. No major injuries. Alert. Sarok, I'm glad you're okay. What? Word of the attack has reached the keep. Some of the settlements in the lowlands can't be reached. Communications are a mess. Baz Barker is at Magsky and marshalling crews to ward your position, but I have yet to get him on the comms. In the meantime, establish a headquarters in Hunter's Valley. Sarok, are we ready for this? Oh, I'm getting a signal from Barker. Stand by. Well, it seems to me that FC Barcelona really has an invested interest in this game and this civilization. No, but in all honesty, that was so weird. Okay, so the cutscene was awesome, voice acting was awesome. The uh, but they were speaking in like a mix of Russian, like their alien language, whatever was in the mix of Russian. And now this guy comes in with a, a thick Aussie accent, mate, and I'm just taking air for it, Jimmy. Basically, I'm completely confused. That kind of took away from the immersion, but um. Let's go ahead and enter the battlefield. For so far, what we have seen is that these guys are trying to like ET back to their homeland, um, but something came in and just fucked shit up. Uh, it's the traditional sci-fi stuff. They're trying to do something really ambitious, and then it just comes in to bite them in the ass, or in this case, goo them in the ass. Ah, uh, that just doesn't sound right at all.
during the test firing of a keyhole opening device for the betas newly constructed so we are the betas over here <laughs> okay a newly constructed ship the suma an enemy force has exploited the keyhole to reach the planet saruk a beta commander uh, trigger so basically he's an alpha beta Ooh. Uh, triggered the self-destruct of the test facility to stop it falling into enemy hands. Saruk is to establish a base and recon the area to learn more of the enemy. Okay. So what did he call them? The other ones? Something badass like Baz Barker on comms. Sir, I'm sorry. I had to detonate the catalyst at the proving facility. If this is the silent ones, it was a necessary sacrifice. You made the right choice. I need your focus on the outer fields. We must ensure nothing else breaches the keyhole. Aran Saruk, I'm afraid the loss of the supply yards at the proving grounds has reduced our sky crane capacity in that area. You're going to have limited resources for a while. We'll make do. Let's get this base operational, then we can scout out what came through the keyhole. All right. Welcome to the tutorial. Okay, so this is in hard difficulty and I'm kind of shitting my pants right now. But because I saw the Total Biscuit video where he was just getting his ass handed to him by the AI. But I hope that wouldn't be the case at least for the first mission. Um, cool. Alright. Ooh, mouse scroll speed is just like insane in the membrane. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the awesome... Uh, things that they have provided here to kind of s just slow down here. I love this customization here. You don't really see this level of customization in, uh, even in like games like Pro Total War Rome 2, of course, which I'm super well versed in. Um, it's just, I'm gonna just put this back to 75. Just, you know, let's put it back a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. All right, so we've got our headquarters here. Another really cool thing about this game is that you have, uh, you know, you can completely use the keyboard basically to, uh, to, basically do everything in this game so starting economy refinery extractor of course uh must be played just extractors must be placed in resource field harvesters carry okay so let's go q and then let's go q yes q q q that's our awesome supply line is incomplete we need to position our extractor in the catalyst field to get our harvesters moving i think one okay so that's i i've gotten uh okay wait oh there we go okay so q q and place extractor. There we go. So we do Q Q Q, and then we do another Q. So I think either three or four Qs. So we've got our extractors. Each refinery can support only one extractor. If your refinery has no connected extractor, you are not collecting any resources. Okay. Um, so you can move an extractor by selecting and right-clicking. When placing an extractor, the number you see is the resources per sec per second. Placing it in larger pools gives you more resources. Okay. Pretty strange. Why should Placing it in larger pools give you give me more resources. Um, okay, so we can left click the idle uh, refinery button to building units. Need a factory. Uh, connecting it to a power connection. This is not a mechanic that I really like, but hopefully it's just faction specific. I don't like the whole you know it has to be connected to the main building. Um, the objective system seek and destroy enemy base. Blah blah blah. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, building a silo does what? Stores resources. Very Starcraft like. Let's build a factory for now, so that's going to be, I'm going to practice my, my uh, hotkeys, my QWQ, and let's put this over exactly. here, resource okay. camera. Normally, exactly. underground resource pools are only visible when placing an extractor. Okay, uh, let's, we should probably toggle the, the resource display button. Okay, so, oh, so that doesn't really do too much. Because we can clearly see that that's a resource pool. As for the graphics in this game, first impressions, I like it. I like it a lot. I like the little colors and, uh, you know, it's 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 nice. It's got a nice, uh, you know, sci-fi feel, but it's not the most impressive. Uh, not that that matters too much, I think, in my in my personal opinion. Um, the Especially for the, the buildings, not very impressive, I would say. Okay, so, now that we... Here. We need to find room to expand. Of course, very insightful comments here by, by Saruk. Let's uh, build some units here. Build Commander, which is an infantry. Stalker, which is a basic anti-armor. 30 seconds for one, 20 seconds for the other. I don't know what the uh, what that is. What is this? Resources collected. Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> wow, that was stupid. Okay, so I'm collecting plus 13 so far. Let's uh, um, QQQ and WW. Oh, okay. 
prereqs. Units and structures require other structures, right? Uh, predator obviously needs, okay, so you need a tank attachment to your factory. So if you click on your factory, I love this. This is so StarCraft, like the, uh, uh, of course you can't see my cursor because of the X-ray, but you, uh, you know what I'm talking about, like the little holograms of the units to show what unit you're building. This is really cool. Unit ready. Unit in Effective production. when attacking groups can mount wall pillars or the hand of a rook. Not really sure what that is. Let's go to Q and uh, do we need, no we don't need a silo up. No, actually, yeah we are kind of hitting capacity at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and put a silo here. Beginning construction. Alright. And uh, so if I do so Unit double. In production. No, I don't want to do W. Resource cap, you are limited, blah, 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 of course. So I am limited to 1000 unless I build a silo, which will take like 30, 40 seconds, whatever. Um, it sucks that I can't uh, build more extractor little units or whatever to increase the, I mean, the, that's kind of the, the theme of this game. It's, it's cool, but it's not very micro intensive and people need to understand that. Let's put a rally point. How do I put the rally point here? So V, okay. So, W, V, maybe? No, that doesn't work. So, just V, and then put that here. So Commander ready. Let's move up in front of these guys. Spotted. Whoa. Hey! What are these guys? Dagger? So, they're clearly not goo. Unit ready. He said, I don't think so. Unit in Strong against armor targets, especially in groups. So, let's take a quicker look. Damage, uh, so we have some... Armor penetration, we have the regular damage, we have the rate of fire, range 375. Uh, these guys have zero Tell armor, obviously. What about these guys? Obviously, zero armor. Sight 600. I just need the target. 600, Guns 120 ready. speed, whereas slightly Unit higher speed, ready. 4 damage, uh, whereas 11 damage for these guys. So, all in all, let's see. Um, yeah, these guys cost roughly twice the amount, so I guess they're good. I mean, I guess it's kind of. I was thinking for a second, maybe these uh, commanders are not worth it, but uh, I don't know. Can't really make up my mind so soon. Unit ready. Yeah, let's Unit go ahead and start with these guys. Ah, uh, I miss debug cam. I miss zooming out as far as you want. Here to assist. Right. So, uh, seek and destroy enemy base. Whatever it takes. Units on higher elevation can see and fire units on lower elevation. Units on lower elevation require at least one unit that can see up the higher terrain before returning fire. Wow, so elevation plays a huge part. All you need to do in this situation, in that little, this clip you see over here, all you need to do is keep one unit that can destroy any unit from coming up the entrance, and you can just fire onto those Tell units. That's awesome. Group, the enemy forces are retreating. They may be hiding in that brush. Barrels up. So over here, this unit can't really hit me. That's awesome. That's really cool. New direction for Another thing that you kind of notice in this game that many people probably won't like is um, let's get WW. No, why not? W W W. Unit in production. Weird. Um, yes. So another thing many people won't Let's like in this game down. is that the units move super slow. Again, that means that it's a bit more forgiving on micro in, for anyone who's watching from my Total War series, whatever. It's kind of like the shift from patch 14 to patch 15 units became a lot slower, which All kind of units. turned off a lot of this units, uh, a lot of people from the game. Uh, but it just it just shifts focus. It's not. It doesn't really. It makes it a bit more noob friendly, sure. Uh, and of course, that adds to the appeal to the game for many people. But it also uh, it also means that you need to plan your tactics a lot better. It's kind of the case that we saw in uh, uh, Rome 2. Of course, Rome 2 also became a lot more forgiving in the process, but that doesn't need to be the case here. So, let's uh, go ahead and see what other structures we can build. Oh, uh, yeah, everything else is disabled. Let's go ahead and spam some more commandos. We've got a little bit of armor penetration here. Let's keep uh, advancing with these guys. Unit ready. Unit in Whoa. production. Oh, that's awesome. So you can, I guess you can hide. I don't know if you can hide. Maybe it's just a, um, can't really, like, they're just showing that you, you're, like, under the forest or something. Okay, they're trying to find different stalkers, I think. Unit in production. Stalker, ready to run them down. You know what, I'm gonna keep one stalker up here. 
can keep my commando there. Get in. Get out. W. Uh, let's get some more stalkers up in front. Let's make it quick. Just, uh, so many you people are just talking to me. I'm like blowing up on stream right now. Feels so popular, you guys. New oh my God. Orders. Let's run them down. Boom. This is perfect for an expansion. Clean kill. Alright, so brush rules. When inside brush, units can fire enemies. When outside brush, you. Ooh. So again, we see the whole sight coming into play. Uh, when you are inside the brush, this is my this is my instinct uh, when I first you know saw this. So when you are in the brush, you are basically oh, hidden, um, unless ahead. you know you uh, another person sends their units inside unit the brush. Ready. Again, making it a bit unit more noob friendly. Uh, you know, having even one unit All inside units. the brush means that this you get way. line of sight. I'll be stalking. So let's see hub rotation to rotate a beta hub. What's a beta hub? Uh, okay, so I guess this is just to uh, rotate like structures. I guess. To expand, ooh, okay, so to expand a beta base, build hubs, when placing, uh, placing hubs, pay, pay attention, play attention, what, what, English alert, when placing hubs, play attention to the placement grid, hmm, that makes sense, it'll show you what size structures will fit on that hub based on how much space you leave surrounding it, okay, yeah, whatever, I kind of get the gist, so how do I, so where do I go to place a hub then, so structures, uh, Okay, build small hub. So Q Q E. Where can I build? Okay, so I can build a hub anywhere I want. So I can build a hub somewhere here. I I don't really see why. Okay, so that just shows that I can't build a structure there. Tell Let's go ahead and clear up these these little the fuckers over here. Before we that proceed. seems to be an unarmed air scout, but there may be other aircraft around. We'll need to avoid them for now until we can find some tech attachments. I just need a target. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and build a hub. What is this? Give me the word. Let's run them down. Aircraft can only see into brush with allied group units spotting for them. Nice. Okay. So if I build a hub here, I hope I'm not Beginning doing like a super move mistake. Unit Resource ready. train. Yeah, that I kind of figured that out. That's on the top right corner. Maybe like a couple more W's. Introduction. Rally point over there. I'm here. Yes, stalker. Ready. Let's see what's going on over here. Stalker awaiting instruct. What about tech upgrades? Nothing is uh, open for me right now. Okay. So you guys, uh, just so you know, you hit escape if you want to get back from the uh, keys. So. So small hub is complete. Now I can build. Is there a resource pool over here? Let's click here. Nice. All right. Ready. So we Unit build a refinery. Beginning construction. Yeah. Why not? Okay, there we go. Beginning construction. All units. Mm, this I way. love expansion. Stalker, you have a target. Stalker, check. All right, so structures. Maybe we should build a. Ooh, a medium hub provides power for four well done. structures. With the extra resources from that refinery, we can increase our production. Tell me where to aim. Wait, oh, look at this little scouting ready fucker. Unit ready. For the keep. Alright, I'm gonna have to advance into this brush. Oh, there we go. Look at these, look at these bastards. Unit under attack. I think this is where the AP, the trident, okay, so we see armor 0, damage 8. Just not very strong units, I guess. 173 health versus, okay, so I guess I can see the, uh, general theme of this opposing faction i think they have a lot more health but a lot Move less uh, damage at least so far 75 for the yeah, daggers which i assume are their Your cheap units oh look at these guys with the armor what's this the da same dagger who have three armor penetration okay so i guess i probably should build more more uh, stalkers unit introduction let's keep them i'm here yes Stalker, ready. Stalker, awaiting instruct. Yes, forward. Wow, look at that little scout. It's going wherever it wants. I want that tech, tech upgrade, man. T, nothing is available right now? Okay. Look at how slow these units are in destroying the base. Uh, that little wall. Unit so, ready. structures, maybe Unit I should build a factory over Unit here. Under Probably a smart idea. Let's see how much, plus 11 seconds, uh, 11 resources per second. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm doing pretty okay. Probably should build a, a, another silo. Let's build a silo over here. Um, w, Q, W. No, Q, Q, W. Unit under attack. Beginning construction. Wait, Why? How are they able to attack me? Unit in production. Factory complete. Unit under attack. That's the dagger, the Stalker, other one's a trident. Okay, so I need to down. remember these little shapes. Stalker, you have oh, a target. More how are how are these walls able to attack me? They have fifty sight. Stalker. Anyways, I should be okay just holding on to this shrubbery for now. Down. Let's run them so down. what about the armor penetration for these guys? Silo. Zero. Complete. Unit ready. Unit Wait, in what production. Was that? I just Tell me where to aim. I just need a target. Mm. Give me the word. Go out and need fire. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'm here. That factory. Unit under attack. W, let's get more Unit W's. But which? I have Baz Barker on com. I need out. Sir, I'm sorry. I had to detonate the catalyst at the proving facility. If this is the silent ones. It was a necessary sacrifice. You made the right choice. Wait. I need your focus on the outer fields. We must ensure nothing else breaches the keyhole. Unit Aran Saruk, I'm afraid the loss of the supply yards at the proving grounds has reduced our sky crane capacity in that area. You're going to have limited resources for a while. Am I taking too much time you for this game? Do. Or for this, this mission? Space operational, then we can scout out what came I guess I the am. Because like... These guys are just like rehashing the, the cutscenes that they were just talking about. Maybe, or maybe that's just me. Like, why am I even bashing out this wall? No this point. Way, I'll be stalking. Wait, who's... I can, I can hear some... Stalker awaiting I'm getting paranoid. Instruct. Stalker, ready to run them down. Oh, there we go. Look at that elevation. Stalker, you have okay, a target. probably shouldn't spam one type of unit. Uh, let's go ahead with Unit QP, introduction. and then drag it on there. Stalker, check. Unit under attack. Whoa, Wait how, how? How is it able to be? I'm fading fast the deck's stealth, but what? Stalker it shouldn't be though, maybe, is it flying? Unit it's not flying, right? How, it, how did it, how is it able to attack this one Unit when it had elevation? Attack. There was no unit which is on this side. Maybe it was the scout. Yes. For the keep. Looks like an old outpost. Maybe we can use it. Unit ready. Unit in production. Alright. Let me just destroy these labelings. Oh, what is this? Group. Move wow. out. Assist. Okay. Check. Five very units can mount wall pillars in the hand of group. Right click a garrison point. Alright. Tell me where to aim. Guys and these guys. Oh, only I the just need a target. only the, these guys Unit can do that. Ready. Okay. Unit in this outpost has a tank tech attachment. If we construct a factory here, we'll be able to get some predators on the field. Unit under attack. Yes. Now that siege unit is pretty yeah. badass. It's pretty badass. Many long range cannot shoot at close targets. Yeah, it's just like the Unit classic ready. siege tank. So repair. We'll need to repair these structures. Repair. If we're attacked again, they won't last long like this. And probably just repair this as well. Repair. And let's start mounting our uh, guns ready. Our commandos or whatever they're called. Here to assist. Let's move. And uh, let's we'll go assist. ahead and can we build a factory here? Uh, Unit under attack. Right. And, uh, tech upgrades. I don't know. I'm almost offline. Yo, 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 come on, man. Taking damage. Stalling out. Very nice. Let's run them down. Focus fire. Target. Alright, I need more units. ASAP Rocky status. Light units. Let's go ahead and get some more shockers. Unit some more. introduction. Factory. Complete. Bonus build a prior to using the large hub. Stalker. Ready. On the move. On the move. Okay, so if we build a large hub, what can we do? 
Uh, oh, no. Nice. Unit in production. <laughs> That's awesome. Stalker awaiting instruct. On these guys' ass. This is the trident. Okay, the, we have the trident, the dagger, the revolver. Ooh, look at the revolver with its high AP. And high damage, base damage, whatever. Stalker, ready to run them down. <laughs> Did that with one hand. Mora, together. Come on, Predator. How long? This, this shit takes a long time. 45 seconds. Hold whatever. Tell one, me where to go. One fifty percent of ready. Uh, stalker. Stalker is a pretty decent unit, I think. Unit oh, look at this little shit. Those predators should make short work of the enemy units we've seen so far. Let's see this, this uh, site 600. So yeah, site, site is the same. What about the range? Whoa. Tell me where to aim. Unit ready. Unit in production. Wall destroyed. Oh, balls. I just need a target. Alright, I need to ready. move up and destroy the siege tank. This way. Unit under attack. Repair. Give me the word. I'm here. Group. Oh. Attack. It's not going so good to you guys. So tank attachment. Okay, so that's the tank attachment. Resource field. Right. The predator strong against lightly armored units. Can fire. Can mount on. Oh, can mount on wall pillars. All right. Selling structures and repairing Unit structures. Unit under attack. Okay, so Unit I guess ready. this one is out of ammo. Oh, what am I doing? I hate these. Field right. depleted. Altes. Okay, it's selling it, I guess. And... Easy enough. Sell this! Oh, sell this. Okay, yeah. There we go. Refinery sold. Let's build a... Uh, another refinery. Where's the uh, small hub? No. Okay, so this is. I need to get this mount. So this one is key. And let this try to go up in front. And wow, I'm just not doing very well. Come on, you guys, come on. Okay, so this is perfect. This is good. Um, what I should do is put a rally point over here. Put a couple of stalkers here. So that they can take care of those guys. Let's punch some holes. And. Why is this? What? You dismount and then do this. Unit under Boom. Nice. What's next? I need to pull oh, so that's a repair pad. Okay, now I know what what a repair pad means. <laughs> uh, so let's keep. I think we should just start spamming some characters at this point. Let this be a predator uh, thing. Let this just churn out a lot of uh, commandos. And we need to get another refinery ASAP. Unit ready. Uh, look at the resource Unit in production. Okay, so structures. Uh, refinery is QQQ. And there's no point doing that. We need a QQW, right? Uh, QQE. Unit ready. Unit in production. There we go. Beginning construction. Unit ready. Stalker. I Ready. hate these things. Unit I really ready. want to kill them all. Unit in production. Unit ready. Alright, some more predators. Right. Some more stalkers. Unit under attack. Go ahead. Small and hub complete. Maybe we should build another factory here. Unit Probably ready. sell the sell the old Unit factory. QWQ. In the second factory here. Um, how how much time is this factory going to take? Actually, we really don't need this factory anymore. So let's just sell this one. Perfect. Unit ready. Unit in production. Predators on that. And now that uh, just QQ with these guys, uh, and then just mount with some commandos because I'm going to go on the offensive. There's no like point of those predators just chilling over there. Pred is gonna pray. Awaiting orders. It's moving now. These guys? Yes. Okay, so we've got the silo here. The, I mean, the small hub. Q, Q, Q. Boom. And then boom. Beginning construction. 
All right, this is nice. This is nice. Let's move up to the shops. Wow, Greg is already dying. That is not Refinery complete. I can I can definitely totally see that unit introduction girl being super annoyed as I progress into this campaign. Extractor complete. Stalker awaiting instruct. Unit under attack. Oh, whoa. Damn. To farm the enemy base. Concentrate fire on the larger buildings. Move and attack. Shit. Alright. Let's, let's try these guys first and then let's Unit under attack. focus fire on this. Unit ready. Unit in production. Boom. Let's move up and move. Let's keep moving up. Um, I'm not MLT Unit enough to like have the hotkeys to like move around certain parts of the map, but I believe that's there. I need to learn those uh, those things very very soon. Let's keep Eing, and let's keep Wing as well. What is? Why does it? Okay. I don't know why it keeps Ang like every after four. Why is there a cap on four at a time? Oh, anti heavy sentinel. Need to take that out. Damage. Unit under attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice. Let's punch some holes. Unit ready. Unit in production. Yeah, this game is this Unit is GG ready. time. Unit GG you alien attack. piece of shit. Actually I'm an alien too. It's I believe. Unless the beta is just a really subhuman species, basically betas. Who just evolved to become more betas. <laughs> Let's destroy the refinery. Let's then the little extractors are going to be pointless. Uh, what is this? Oh, bald sack. What about. Oh my god, how much am I fucking out here? Let's destroy the anti heavy sentinel. And then we need to destroy the factory. Commander ready. Stalker, ready to run them down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Unit ready. Unit in production. Unit under attack. Attacking now. Damage. You've got to be pulling my balls, dude. What? Why? How much time does it take to destroy a fucking factory? Good God. And there's another factory there. Oh, this is okay. Let me just distract the fucking core, dude. I ain't messing around no more. Unit under attack. Oh Stoker, my god, I, I know a unit is under attack, lady. Bitch. That should do it. Unit ready. Okay, finally this factory's just factory's just about done. There we go. Probably should have just focused on the core. It's hard. It's right. Boom. I think this is just about GG. Finally, 25 minutes to play the first mission. Clearly, I'm not suited to play, playing hard difficulty on this. Unit under attack. Boom. Should have just focused on the core from the start. Maybe just destroy the anti heavy sentinel and then on the core. Didn't need to bother with all this. No See, you can destroy the primary enemy base. Yes, that's what I've done. I guess we have, we have to destroy everything. Unit ready. I hate when that Waiting. happens. So this is good. The predator is good against light units, right? So it's got 44 damage, two, six, only six armor penetration, which is not good armor penny. Um, compare that to the stalker, which itself has three. Uh, but the base damage is good. So I guess yeah, again, it's really good for lightly armored units. Rate of fire two. These units have rate of fire 0.75 because that's the double turret that's coming into play. Yeah, if you look pretty detailed into this, they have like kind of a, so, uh, a Supreme Commander kind of look, which is cool. Uh, but again, the the artistic look looks nice. I mean, this this futuristic look looks nice uh, from afar, but uh, you know, when you close up, kind of you know shows its limitations. Operation success, very nice. Well played, Blade Master. Thank you, Blade Master. We were ambushed. There must be more of the Silent Ones.
they'll attack our settlements, aren't they? They will. I'm ordering an evacuation. I need you to buy us time and hunt down those landers. So the beta seemed like a very peaceful beta-ish type of people. Um, and it looks like this was their home country or their home planet. And the silent ones have infiltrated them because they were trying to uh, maybe evacuate or recolonize somewhere else. And uh, when they were opening up this whatever, this, uh, the, this satellite or trying to get over there, the guys just, these silent ones just came in and tried use that opportunity to launch an ambush so victory at the hunter's valley i really like this game so far but i don't like that that girl that the, the, the satellite complete i don't like her um anyways hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for the rest of the of this lp series uh again my name is blade master like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and if you want to see more and i will see you later peace